the ITBA fillers scheme national hunt flat race next in whether these are all fillers or not goodness only knows the top one is Aconitum like for Graham Clutterbuck Bullseye for Jamie Shea Fantastic Tango Paul O'Neill Sir Michael Kane and Tiger Moth for Paul Rose Glenachine Parks for James Shea Hollywood Queen Derek Hinton Casimir's for Darren Thompson Lambton Road Kevin Meanhan looks the part Joshua Sutherland Red Iron Knight Josh, uh, Leon Van Rensburg The Big Easy Joshua Sutherland Tintern Breda for Leon Van Rensburg and yes Hollywood Derek Hinton 14 then in the National Hunt Flat Race of Iron Racing and the inside Lambton Road one of the first as shown and yes Hollywood's also close up so too's Tiger Moth a few more runners in this this week the week was only about four in it I think and Lambton Road pulling for its head is a clear leader by about four lengths going much quicker than the jockey seems to want it to but decided to let the horse have its head and it's gone off into a clear lead the big easy is second and aconitum like and red iron knights tiger moth and sir michael kane stable companions have less holly oh yes hollywood between them casimir is on the inside as they cross that little pathway there they're going to come past the stand they've still got a mile and a half to go and the second of the Derek Hinton horses hollywood queen is really struggling at the back to go the pace and is a good fall into drift. At Lambton Road then takes them along the big easy is second. Then Red Iron Knights on the outside. Like an item like is after that one then Sir Michael Kane and Tiger Moth stable companions together. Casimir's on the rail with Yes Hollywood behind that one. Uh, fantastic tangos on the rail. Bull's eyes wide on the track. So too is looks the part. And Tintern and Brader and some of them are going really wide there. I don't know what that was all about. Some of them ran really wide on that turn and I don't know whether there was something happening underground, maybe a piece of paper fluttering around, or a bird or something, but they all seem to shoot off to the right of the chasing pack, and that's done no harm at all to the front three. Lambton Road clear by two, or even three, to the Big Easy in second. Casimir's is third, so Michael Kane is four, and Nakan Item Lock is five. Yes, Hollywood is six, then a gap back to the horses who were pretty much affected by that little problem with the course as they run up that little hill there and Lambton Road is in the lead the big easy and he's cruising along and stalking him in second Casimir's third Sir Michael Kane is in fourth and then yes Hollywood is after that one and Aconitum like trying to get into it Tiger Moth trying to run on also one of a trap there uh, that's, that's Red Iron Knights Tintern Brader is the one on the rail and they all took that turn a little bit tighter and have got close to the rail this time and it's Lambton Road who's in the lead by a couple of lengths to the big easy Yes, Hollywood is going well in third. Sir Michael Kane's under pressure. Then Aconitum like Casimir's is running into a brick wall. So too is Tiger Moth. After that one, Tintern Breda trying to get into it. Fantastic Tango trying to run on as well as they're racing now towards the final three and a half furlongs. And Lambton Road is in the lead still by about two lengths to Tiger Moth in second. Then comes Yes, Hollywood third. Sir Michael Kane is fourth. Then Tintern Breda and the big easy. Casimir's trying to run on. So too's Red Iron Knights. Fantastic Tango. After that, one dropping back there, Aconitum like a bullseye, but it's still Lambton Road in front. Lambton Road's not giving up easily. Two furlongs still to go, and Lambton Road is still three clear off Tiger Moth and Tintern Brader. Then Casimir's and Sir Michael Kane, the big easies after that one. Then Red Iron Knights, and yes, Hollywood is still there as well, but now Lambton Road is collared, and Tintern Brader goes on from Casimir's, who's gone second. The Paul Road's bearer chasing them into the final half furlong. It's just going to be another one for Leon Van Rensburg. It's Tintern Brader from Casimir's, and Casimir's gets up on the outside and steals it on the line. Casimir's wins it, Tintern Brader second, then Sir Michael came with a big easy, and Glenishing Parks ended up last, but it looked like it was going to be another one. For the Van Rensburg machine, winning every race he's entered so far today, apart from this one, and he nearly won this, but Casimir's for Darren Thompson's in the purple patch as well, and plenty of winners at Royal Ascot on the flat, and some winners over sticks yesterday. It's Casimir's for Darren Thompson, the winner. Tintern Brader for Leon Van Rensburg, second. Sir Michael Kane for Paul Rhodes was third. The Big Easy for Joshua Sutherland was fourth. And Lambton Road, the long-time leader for Kevin Minahan, ran a good race in fifth.